all right come on and let's get you a message let's see what is going on with you guys excuse me my allergies honey oh these allergies fell all right so get on in here um let's take a look let's see what's going on with you guys all right um if you don't know already, I am your Shaman Empress, a.k.a. the Shaman Hummingbird. I will be reading all the signs and the energies that I see in your reading. Okay, these are general, so only take what is yours. Simply, simply leave what is not yours. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to your areas on replacements. Love Tarot. Anywhere areas is in you or your person's chart, not just your four signs placements. You can and will resonate with those messages over there, okay? So, let's take a look look at you guys oh okay let's see all my beautiful universe and holy spirits cafe astrology will always be linked for you guys all right so you can also see where your other placements are to get all the tea that you need when it comes to your messages okay all right and any readings that you're getting at least you know your placements all right okay What's going on, general messages for the collective? Oh, my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit, general messages for the collective. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, have the deck, please. The fool. Somebody here wants to take a leap of faith. Somebody um, plans on taking a leap of uh, faith with you. This is somebody that like thinks about you a lot. They could, um, I heard game plan. They got a game plan. Aqua areas, energy and areas. This is somebody here that got a game plan. They already have things like mapped out, planned out in their mind. This could be somebody here that already uh, like kind of like fantasizes about how it would be if you guys go out, chill, go out on a date. Someone here um, likes to wear clutches yep nine of pentacles but this is somebody that's taking it slow yeah this king of ones okay this person wants to take action areas to source energy leo virgo here but they want to um they're but they're taking their time um they want to take it slow someone here wants things to be like perfect it's like a perfect plan a perfect outlook they're not trying to f it up they don't want nothing else to get in the way of like taking a chance child they obsess of lee watch you you know somebody here gets turned on watching you um and i don't know who this is for this came out like a couple months ago somebody's voice your voice like it's sexy to them or something like if this person calls you y'all talk on the phone they get wrecked or you know they get a little hot and little father child. Okay? Like your energy, your voice. Child, the six of cups. This is somebody you know. Somebody you have a history with. Yep, the two of cups. Cancerian, Scorpion. Somebody here, they like you. They want this. They want to take a chance. I feel like Something could have happened in the past between you guys. Maybe something you're still holding on to. Maybe there could be something you're still mad about. Someone here also could feel like, you know, you could be mad about something they lied about. Maybe um, with the Page of Swords and the Devil card, uh, you could be connected to an Airbender, Jimena, Libra, and Aqua Arius. Maybe they weren't completely honest about something. Now, lately, I've been picking this up on someone here, like, thinking um, somebody is still holding on to a grudge or, like, grudges. But they want to come over. They want to come towards you and work on this. Um, somebody here wants you feel like working together will be y'all always together. Like spending time together, like you're by their side. They want to like ride around or something with you. Like, you know, today they got to run here, take care of some business. Um, they might have a very unique way of asking you if you want to come or like, you know, um, it's like you want to go get something to eat. And it's like, yeah, but it's like way more than that. Like y'all go get something to eat. Yeah. Ding, ding, that's your confirmation. It's like y'all go get something to eat and then it turns into run here with me. Run here with me. Let me stop at my job. Let me, um, and, it, and this person just wants to be with you. Somebody here, it's like they don't want to take you home right away. They don't want you to leave right away. Seven of Wands. Now, this is somebody here that's going to avoid you like 
um, walking away from them. Um, avoid you like, um, you know, all right, well, let me go, you know, because I got to get back. They'll try to block that. Oh, all right, well, well, before you go, let's do this. Or, you know what I was thinking? I was going to take you home, but maybe we should stop. And, like, they're going to do whatever they got to do. Child, somebody here is trying to kidnap your ass. Damn it. So um, this person off. still think you pissed off. We had to hit the demo button. That's just what it is. This is somebody that's trying to kidnap you, keep you with them. They want to spend the day with you. They want to spend some time with you. They want to kind of, like, wrap their arms around you. They want to look at you. They, they could want to take you out for a drink. It's like, you know what? Um, if they do, don't drop you off. It's for a quick change. And y'all right back out the door. Don't stay long. Um, and this is what they overall, what they want to do. But they're taking their time with the pentacles but they're taking their time okay all right so let's get an angel number here and then we're going to do some clarification now um some energy is stuck something here is blocking you guys from like connecting it could be you or them um, this could be like an energetic block because that's exactly what I'm getting. Like the energy is blocked. This could be why it's taking some time or they're taking their time to take the chance. Six, two, seven, and eight is your angel number. So let's grab that. Let's see what the block is here. I want to also see this devil energy, this obsessed. There's something here. I mean, you don't. I don't know if you understand that this person is like, they need this energy from you. It's a need. It's I can feel them. It's like, child, it's excitement. They're excited. And you know what I mean. All right. Let's go, honey. Angel number 627A signifies that you need to tap into your inner intuition and thoughts and let the angels lead you to your life of prosperity and happiness this person here is like uh spiritually giving in surrendering to the energy that you guys hold this is someone and it's helping them connect to their intuition when i tell you all this person do is think about you with the five of swords that popped out earlier they consistently and consistently think about you this is someone here that wants um to have some kind of prosperity and happiness but they, and they want to like share it with you Okay, um, they feel like also this kind of energy that they have um, between the both of you guys will lead to come some kind of prosperity. Yeah, like something here y'all could slowly build. Now, someone here could also slowly like um, build a business with you. It's almost like, you know, taking their time and you guys slowly building up and then turning something into money. All right. They feel like all of this, but there's what, what's, what's going on is there's an energetic block. That y'all guys got to get around. So we're going to take a look at that too. Someone here is trying to figure out how to get around this block. This could be also why they're like trying to take some time. It might also take some work. Now this could have been, uh-uh. Okay, to be honest with you, this could be also because it comes some kind of sneaky betrayal that ended things between you and them. Yeah, someone here is, this is the thing. It blocked the energy because they betrayed you. There's something that happened that they betrayed you and, and they could have, like, there's something real sneaky behind your back. And then, you know, it's like they just stopped coming around. The death card. And the world card, like, it, but what happened was it ended completely with the world card and the death card. Or maybe they didn't expect this shit to end completely. But when it happened, somebody here cried. It really, really hurt it. Now, whatever this betrayal... Are we going to look at that? Whatever this is that ended shit between you guys, it, it I, I, or like, I feel like maybe... The, you know how somebody know taking a chance or doing something betrayal against your back would possibly, you know, stop, like, um, you would stop fucking with them? But, like, it, it, it's like somebody here feels like they might have lost you, like, forever. Like, this is, it's over, over. Like, there's no coming back. The point of no mother in return um, kind of energy. Yeah. And now they want justice and they're going to bring back imbalance. But this is what they want to do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
There's someone here still scared that you're going to walk away. Okay. Um. Let's see. What's the seven of ones? This person realized that they like block like abundance with you. Yeah, I feel like y'all, you know, they would have just like uh, earlier on stuck around that y'all could have been built something together or something like that. Um, y'all will be good like business partners as well or something. And they obsessively think about that. Okay, what's the seven of ones? Sectorius energy, Aries as well, Capricorn, Tesaurus. What's the seven of ones? Mm. Yep, the Ace of Swords in reverse. They lied. That's what I said. They betrayed you. This was a big lie. Ace of Cups. It could have really, yep, it did. It made you feel some kind of way. It could have changed your feelings. Now, if this is you, then this is what this person felt like. Something here is like the, the lie was just, the, it's like, why would, you, it was too much or something. And, it, and yep, Nine of Cups. Um, And this is somebody here. Yeah, honey. Mm-mm. Eight of Pentacles. It's like they liked you, but they didn't think it could work. The Joker in reverse. They didn't think it could work. Someone here is like, Lion is, yep, Five of Cups. Lion is somebody's like pet peeve. Somebody here cannot stand a liar. Why did they laugh? Hold on. Let's grab the tarot on this one. Why they laugh? What's the Ace of Swords, please? Why, what's the Ace of Swords? Show me the Ace of Swords. Show me the Ace of Swords. Mm. Lovers. The Eight of Cups. And the Hierophant. And the Spirit of Pentacles. So, someone here, this is somebody that just should have told you that they wasn't ready for a relationship. Yeah, that's what they lied about. The spirit of swords, and now they want to apologize. They should have just said, look, I really want to take things slow. Like, I'm not really ready for a relationship. Why didn't they just lie? Now, for some of you guys, they could have had a connection as well. It was like, they could have just been, like, doing them on their own journey. They could have also found out that they had, like, um, a baby. Because the spirit of cups is, like, the page, it's, it's the page of cups. It's the baby. Okay, or something like that. But, and, you know, they had other shit going on. Then maybe they didn't want to explain other things that was going on or other things that, like, you know, you might have not have known or some shit like that. Give me more on the Page of Swords, the Spirit of Swords. So that is the Page of Swords, like I said. What's the Page of Swords? Yep, this is the Vibe Masculine, the Monarch. Whether this is a woman or a man, an alpha female, Ace of Cups. This person has fell in love with you, though. Now the ones, they hurt. They're hurt. They hurt themselves. Yeah, yep, they did. They're getting support, though. All right, from, like, you know, close people around them or whatever. Like, them expressing yourself. But this is somebody here, they got hurt. It's like, I feel like once you cut this all the way off is when they really felt this shit. Like, like they're hurt. Like, it hurt. I don't, I don't know, I don't think this person thought that they were cut this off, this would be cut off, like, all the way. Now, this is someone here that lies a lot. I'm going to tell you right now. They could be lying, like, you know, they also, you could have felt manipulated. Like, they could have just told you, like, you could have just kept it being with me, you could have just kept it real, why did you keep lying? And then one lie has to cover up another lie that has to cover up another lie. What's the devil card? And someone here is lying about, it, like, a vehicle or something. Yeah, the three of swords. Child, they watch you and it's like heartbroken when they watch you. Sometimes somebody here that watches you look you up, look up your profile, shit like that. Sometimes they're like heartbroken. Sometimes it hurts and other times it's like they're like, they're like turned on by what they see. Like, oh, the ace of pentacles. Something about, you know, them keeping like tabs on you is like bringing new, yep. It's making them think and it's making them want to reconnect. Mm. What's the Knight of Pentacles? What's the Knight of Pentacles? This could be someone here that's also, they feel like, you know, <laughs> damn, like, they're getting karma. Like, they, I'm all the way cut off. Like, they didn't expect this neither. I'm going to just be honest with you. 
I mean, I don't know. They thought they was going to be able to, I guess, still have you in some sort of way, but you cut ties. The Queen of Swords, yep. And the Five of Cups. This person here, it's like they're trying to figure you out as well. Yep, Five of Ones. Because they don't know if you're, it's going to be a fight or an argument because of how shit ended. And are you still holding on to, like, a grudge? Are you still mad? Yep, at the past. Are you still mad at me? Eight of Swords, you still stuck on that. You know, um, what I did. King of Wands. What's the Six of Cups? Show me the Six of Cups. The Knight of Swords. They want to make a quick move. That's all. They keep going back and forth, though. They. This is somebody here that is also, like, they could second guess a lot. Yeah, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Ooh, and the Four of Swords. Um... This is somebody here that's like really, 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 really impulsive. Seven of Cups. Um, and they could do something sporadic because it's like, you know, you could be dating somebody else. And if you are dating somebody else or you're thinking about dating somebody else that is going to make you happy or that is making you happy, it's really going to bother them. Like, yep, this can go ones in reverse. Like, it, like bad. All right. What else is going on here? This whole situation got this person under a lot of pressure. Got this person under a lot of rage. And this is after they, like, betrayed you. It's been some time apart. They, y'all haven't seen each other. But it's like, it's this person's fault. This is, this is like, they gaslit you, period. Damn it. This person gaslit you, and they just need to say it. What else is going on? And they want to tell you they're, they're sorry, they apologize. It's like, you know, I know I was gaslighting you. I know I was, like, stringing you along. But I never expected you to just, like, 86 me, quit me, leave me out. That's it. Never again. It's over forever. Yeah, retaliation. Um, this is also, some of you guys, could, uh, someone here could feel like um, you might want retaliation. They are threatened and they are embarrassed for what they did. This could be also someone here. I feel like maybe they, they didn't care. Somebody here don't care. Like at that time, they didn't care as much as they do now. It's like the more they thought about you, the more they watched you, the more they thought about it. It's like, you know, well, maybe I do want to take us seriously. Maybe I do want to connect. Maybe I do want to go get in a relationship. Yeah, love. <clears throat> Because I do adore you. And the more they watch you, it's like they adore you more. Somebody here never stopped looking you up. Never stopped looking at your profile. Never stopped looking at your post. Child. Children. You bring this person's inner child. And I told you. There could have been a situation where this person couldn't get serious. It could have involved. They had other shit going on. They just didn't know if they really wanted this relationship. And they had other shit going on. So it turned out to be a really big distraction. This could be someone here, to be honest, they didn't even want to tell you about, you know, a child, a child some of you guys that's going to resonate with this part, um, about a child situation, and then they just didn't take you guys serious at that time. That has all changed since then. And this is the somebody, they want to give you a message. Okay. All right, they're showing me this deck. Let's see. Uh -oh. All right, what's their feelings and emotions? What's their feelings and emotions? I also feel like this is someone here that got what they wanted from you. And at that time, too, you was maybe more open. They were getting from you, but they wasn't giving it back. And then they just gaslit you. But this is what was going on. What is, what's their feelings and emotions? Uh, broadcast in reverse. Um, someone here also um, could be like... They could have took, they, somebody here listens to like relationship broadcasts or something. Yeah, they could have realized that it did, it, it's like it, um, it didn't benefit their situation with you. Someone here also needs to quit watching a broadcaster. You know how there's all them like broadcast YouTube videos and shit like on connections, relationship, how to make a woman fall in love with you, how do you keep a man, how do you make them love you, honey, how do you make the, like all that, and it's really just the originality between the both of you guys, it's like, yeah, I told you, yup, influencer, yeah, 
they could have been trying to do shit or someone here was could have like had a real big influencer that's a blogger or have a YouTube that they follow. Like they took all their advice. You know, they've been um like maybe watching them for a while. It's like and it, it didn't work and it possibly didn't work in other connections that they had. Someone here is blame they they they're cutting out negative things that don't serve them. So this could be someone here that also got a download from the universe, um, a download from God, you know, um, to stop watching. Because what works for other people may not work for you. Whoever they're watching, whoever this blog thing is, they don't watch them anymore. Okay, let's see what this person wants to say to you. Alright, I'm still in this deck. Let's use this deck here. Can you at least listen to me? Now they want you to listen to them, but they know that's going to be hard. A third party intervention has destroyed our connection. I cannot make this shit up. I can't make it up. I don't feel like they was focused enough on you. They could have got this other situation for some of you guys. And some of you guys have involved a child under control. And now they had time with their like thoughts. They had time to really think about, like, y'all, you guys. This could be also someone here that has lost a channel. If they had their own, like, broadcast or something, they could have, like, lost a channel or lost their broadcast. If you was dating or talking to an influencer or someone here you know that's into, like, influences and shit like that, they, they could have gotten out of that work. They don't do it no more. They could be into, like, radio or something as well. Mm. We shouldn't be influenced. Oh my damn! It, damn, damn I fucking. Damn we shouldn't be influenced by outside, by the outside world. Just focus on us two, and that's what they're realizing. Like it's just the magic between y'all that works. They don't need all of that, and all of that could have been clogging their thoughts. Listening to a lot of different like broadcast people trying to figure shit out. Don't lose faith. Good things are ahead of us. This is somebody that's like, well, give me another chance. I'm going to prove it to you. Just just be patient with me. I'm telling you, I got you. I got me. I got us. Um, challenges are to overcome and bring us to a stronger bond. They're not supposed to break us apart. And that's what this person wants. Okay. Now, it's up to you guys, you know, because there, there could be um, a couple other things that make you, you know, second guess and second doubt. But somebody here is like, they want that to change. And if this is somebody here that's going to do this, this is what's going to happen. All right? Like, if you're still in connection with this person and this end up happening, this is how the outcome is going to play out. Root chakra. Someone here could be a son or daughter of Ogun or avatar of his. But this is someone here that is definitely um, pulling your energy. Now, you need to be careful with this person. Because this is someone here because, you know, of the energy that they were in, they could have took from you. To be honest, it could have changed your health and your stability. Because sex, sacred sexual energy exchange, which is really sex, um, it's a give and take. But if you're not giving back, you're just taking. And this is how you end up like, you know how people say, when I start fucking with this person, or I notice when I start fucking with them, I start losing everything. Like, everything just went bad. That's that energy. So please be careful. Yeah, see, Archangel Judicale, um, power and leadership, okay? Um, for some of you guys, you are um, connected to Judicale because you're a Magi. Yup. That could be another reason why you connect um, real good to like spirituality, universal frequencies and shit. And why you're on like, you know, my channel and possibly like other readers. You might even connect to a certain, like, flinger readers. We got the fifth power of miracles, yeah. The angelics is here connecting because it's like this person could be putting herself back into the right frequency. Yeah, we got Angel Michael, yeah. There, so it could be, like, uh, protected or trying to, to, you know, work things out between you guys, trying to give help and support. Okay, let's get a love oracle. What's a love oracle? What's a love oracle? True love in reverse. 
I mean, this this could be the one. Someone here feels like um they got to get you to fall in love with them again. Because they feel like you don't feel the same. This is why they want to take you away, take you out. And I'm telling you, retreat. This is someone here that wants to spend time with you. And they're going to make excuses. If you, you know, if you get this person another chance, it, just know you're going to be stuck with them for a while, child. They're going to do everything they can to not bring you back home. Or, you know, it's not going to be easy to separate. It's like keeping you yeah honeymoon somebody here also wants to take you somewhere you know they want to they, this is somebody that wants to like spend weekends like um spend a couple days honey you're gonna be with a couple this person for a couple days you ain't you it ain't gonna be no nah you you stuck you just pack an overnight bag child i know just pack an overnight bag it's gonna be okay i got you okay let's go ahead and get uh an oracle all right, they're showing me the deck they want me to use. We're going to rock with this one today. Just pack an overnight bag, yep. Because this person's coming to pick you up off your feet. And this is somebody here that's going to be vulnerable with you. They dream a lot. They could be popping up in your dreams, but this is all they think about. Whether this is a man or a woman. What's the oracles? Yeah. What's the oracles? This um, backfired. Yep, you don't know this. You don't know this. This energy that they were in with you has backfired on them real bad. And it's also made them extremely obsessed with you. Yep, that's your confirmation. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is your confirmation. And, but you don't know this. I don't think you, you don't, a lot of you guys are, don't know this. Rapid development, excellent, and success. That's what they want. Things have developed inside this person and things have developed um, between like the energy with you guys or that's the work they're going to put in to do. Yep, God. Oh, a mentor, a trustworthy ally. Someone here has gotten them. Someone here that they trust. This is someone that will possibly need some kind of guidance and advice towards you and are getting it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that's good. Someone here could also be telling this person, you know, you need to um, create happy moments with them. They need to, when they think about you, they need to be thinking about sweet things. So that's why they're trying to recreate something. And someone here, this is going to be under the full moon. When they connect with you, y'all connect under the full moon. Reclaiming your authenticity. And someone here, it's like, now they're going to be real. But they did, they wasn't before. Period. They just wasn't. Damn. This is also someone that didn't know if they wanted this or not. They had too much shit going on to really think. But now they're thinking clearly. They want to nurture on this. Someone here also wants you to nurture on them. That's what they just said. All right, what's the sons and planets, John? Yep, you connect to this person's Jupiter. Y'all are connected to Jupiter. This is why they know they could get abundance with you. They could be seeing it. The universe could be showing them. That's why the angelics are protecting this. You know, if this person has worked on themselves and um, they have gotten realigned with the universe, they could be blessing them with the opportunity to reconnect to your energy. Change. Yes, Uranus. We are in a new year of the new world, the new order of aqua areas change is here that's why the change came mm. someone here can also be seeing like life different mm -hmm. and it's like it makes them think of you the changes that's been going on the changes that this person has been through Yep, Cancerian. Um, you could be connected to a Cancerian. This is um someone here sees you as a good nurture. Someone here wants you to nurture on them. It's like if you when you if you nurture on me, the the reciprocation would be I'll protect you. Um, uh, you know I'll I'll do this. I'll put in the work for us. Sectarius is also here. Aqua Aries and Cancerian. All right, guys, this is someone here. Um, they don't want you to lose faith. They don't want you to lose hope. They have been through changes. They are making changes, universal changes. Um, they could be getting angelic support for an opportunity to reconnect. They do adore you.
They do adore you. But this is somebody you're not talking to. Okay, we're going to shut it down right there. I hope this helped you out in more ways than one. Before you go, don't forget to hit that bell. Hit all. That keeps you tapped in, tuned in. Make sure you hit that like button as well. So you are being tapped into your messages. And you will also be notified when your messages are ready and available for you. All right? I love you all. Stay dope. I'll catch you the next time you stop by in your next video upload. I'll share you